Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in ASP.NET how to bind a radio button control inside a repeater control with a single selection using JavaScript. And here we got the final output. Now let's select the radio button control Ford. Let's select the second one, Bucati, Honda, C. Now we can able to select a single radio button control. That's it. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new ASP.NET project. Go to File, New, Project. And from the web templates, I'm selecting ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework I'm using 4.6.1. The application name is Radio Button Repeater Control Bind Single Selection. Click OK. This is the project name. And from the templates, I'm selecting empty, okay. And the project is created successfully. Let's open Solution Explorer. Now in this project, I'm adding a new web form page. Right click the project name, add web form. The web form name is radio button single selection. And repeat a control RP, click OK. And here we got the source page of the newly created web form page. Now between this form and due tag, I'm adding center tag. I'm adding the headers, binding data into radio button inside a repeater control. with single selection ASP.NET JavaScript horizontal line after the horizontal line I am adding a repeater control open toolbox I am minimizing the standard folder let's expand the data folder in this data folder we have the repeater control let's add that one and here we got the repeater control after that I'm adding the data source control in the same data folder there is a SQL data source let's add that one once we add the SQL data source switch to the design mode and notice there is a small button which is a SQL data source task below that there is a configure data source let's configure the data source and let's create a new connection I'm adding a SQL server name. After adding a SQL server name, now let's select the database name. Sample DB is my user database. I have selected that one. Test connection is succeeded. Okay, okay. And here we got our connection string. Click next. And the connection string name is a sample db connection and I am saving this connection string in the application which is the web.config file. Click next. Now let's select the table name. The table name I am selecting car which contains two columns car id and car name. Click next. Let's test query. We will check the results. And here we got the results of the car table. Now my aim is I want to bind this car name column to the radio button control inside a repeater control. Let's finish. So after that switch to the source mode and you notice here the SQL data source contains a connection string. Now let's bind the data into the repeater control. To add the controls in a repeater control we have a we have to add the item template after that let's add the radio button control open toolbox here is the radio button control let's add that one now after adding the radio button control on the repeater control i'm adding the data source id is equals to i'm adding this sql data source id after that let's bind the data 
in the radio button control in the text property is equals to instead of double quotes I'm adding a single quotes because I'm using the eval function percentage percentage hash eval method between double quotes I'm adding the column name from the card table which is a card name that's it we have binded the card name column into this radio button control inside a repeater control let's check the output Google Chrome and here we got the output of that code notice the radio button is binded with the card name column now notice when I select the radio button control it's selecting now I want to select some other radio button control for example Bucati see it's selecting all the radio button controls but I want to make this selection as a single radio button control for that I'm using JavaScript let's switch back to the coding part stop debugging now in the header section after the title I'm adding the script tag inside the script I'm creating a function function single selection is a function name I'm adding the object radio button ID now inside this function I'm adding the two variables one is a get element by ID and get element by tag methods variable or button is equals to document dot get element by ID I'm adding this object semicolon and the next variable the tag name get element by tag name variable variable or button list is equals to document dot get element by tag name sorry tag name Between double quotes. Now here the tag name, the radio button in HTML is input tag name, is the input element semicolon. After that, after that, I want to count the length of the radio button controls because here we have only one radio button control, but we are binding the data from the database. So I'm using for loop to count the radio balance for loop i is equals to zero i is less than r button list dot length property i plus plus after we get the count of the radio button controls the next step if condition radio button list array i dot I'm adding the property the type the type of the element is a radio button between double quote double equals to radio and the condition if the radio button list i dot id property is not double equals to I'm comparing this ID of this variable or button ID dot ID if the radio button IDs are not same which means it's unchecked radio button list I dot check check it property is equals to false that's it we have added the javascript functionality to select a single radio button control now the last step we need to add this function in the radio button on click is equals to between double quotes javascript colon i'm adding the function name this dot id that's it we have done the complete coding part now let's check the final results google chrome and here we got the final output now let's select the radio button control fourth 
let's select the second one Bucati Honda C now we can able to select a single radio button control that's it